Hey Sagittarius, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana and y'all have been running through my mind all day today so I wanted to put out a reading. Um, came home, did what I had to do and figured I'd sit down and put y'all out a reading. So this is a bonus reading for April I suppose. It's reminiscent of the reading I just did for y'all but anyway it's deeper. Maybe somebody will get something out of it, okay? Alrighty. So this pocket right here, Sag, it's freaking amazing, okay? So your reading starts with the Ace of Cups. Love, overwhelming emotion, followed by the Ten of Pentacles, right? Family, wealth, establishment, the be-all to end-all. And the Ten of Cups, the be-all to end-all in, a, in a, a relationship, right? Harmony, values alignment, happiness, right? Marriage, relationships. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, it's beautiful. I mean, it's freaking beautiful. The Ace of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. This is like blackjack. It just doesn't get any better than that, right? It just it just really doesn't. The Nine of Cups on top of there, maybe, okay? Okay, but for some reason, you're caught up with indecision about this whole thing right here. You're caught up with indecision with the Two of Swords. And with the Eight of Swords, you're you're all up in your head about it. Hard about this King of Cups character right here. This King of Cups character who has brought in messages with the Eight of Wands and taken action and, and moved this relationship forward with the Hierophant. So there's been some kind of communication or action on the part of this King of Cups to propose commitment to you. With the Ace of Swords, conversation, truth was spoken. The Princess of, of Swords, plans were made. The foundation was laid out for a relationship, a committed relationship. The Prince of Swords, action was taken to create a committed relationship. The Two of Cups, a unified love relationship. The Queen of Pentacles, right? Security, home. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could also be dealing with a Pisces. Let me back up. I apologize. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Anyhow, the Queen of Pentacles, it's a build, she's a builder right? She builds things. So you're, you're, you're all this beautiful stuff to build something together. The lover's card comes in and says a love relationship. Six of cups. <coughs> this six of cups is either this conversation has been about reuniting or reconciling from your past, or this whole thing right here is about somebody that you have built a family with. Okay. So, come down here though. Look, you're in the Four of Cups. You're contemplating. You're thinking about all of this. Up here, you're in the Two of Swords in the Eight of Swords. With all of this beauty, right? The Ace of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the King of Cups, the Hierophant, having a conversation, the Ace of Swords, the Princess of Swords, the Prince of Swords, about a love relationship, a committed love relationship with the queen of pentacles topping it off saying we're going to build something together reiterated by the lover's card right the six of cups either somebody that you're reconciling with or reuniting with or um you have built a family with this person but down here you're contemplating right you're like hmm what is going on what's going on Sag? So I asked, what came before this Ace of Cups? And the tarot says that what is going on, what you're contemplating about here, what you're caught up in your head with indecision about right here, is that in the past with the King of Swords, some, some serious truth was spoken or, or, or found out, right? And that puts you in the eight of um, the eight of wands. It wounded you, right? It did. It 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 literally wounded you. I'm sorry. It's the nine of wands. 
and um, you had to, it made you feel super defensive and, and hesitant. Whatever this was freaked you out completely. And you walked away with the Eight of Cups right there. You walked away. So that's why when this person from your past, whether you've built a family with them or you're reuniting and reconciling with somebody, with a lover from the past, right? Um, they come in with all of this promising, all of this, right? And you guys talk about it and, and you, you promise, you, I mean, it's a big deal, right? But you're still caught up in your head because something harsh happened in the past. What happened in the past? Let's see. So I asked. What happened in the past was the Six of Wands. So somebody fell out of your good graces. There was a fall from grace with the Six of Wands. And the Ten of Wands is struggle. So your struggle is to, to come to terms with what happened back here. Because somebody was disgraced, okay? Because the Seven of Cups says you're confused, the Star card about renewal, the Hanged Man really having to think a lot about it because with the Four of Pentacles, you feel the need to um, for self-protection, right? That's what you're thinking about right here. But what you've done, Sagittarius, is you have manifested this into your life. You've manifested it into your life. Ever since you walked away back here, you have not cut ties with this King of Cups right here. You've, you've not cut ties with him, no matter what sign he is, you, or her, for that matter, but it's a king, right? Um, so you have not cut ties with this King of Cups, and... <coughs> manifesting all of this awesomeness with that King of Cups into your life is what you've been doing. The The Empress is about uh, a, a, a abundance, right? The Empress is about abundance and it's about, and she's about um, building and creating and, and it goes right along with the whole manifesting concept, right? And this is your justice. This is your justice. You have manifested this into your life. What are you thinking and contemplating about? How you feel about a creative new beginning with somebody. The Ace of Pentacles about a brand new, fresh, sparkling, clean start. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. The Princess of Wands, passionate messages from this king of cups he's the king of cups up here he's the king of cups down here queen of cups down here but the king's already used right so it doesn't matter if it's the queen of cups or the king of cups it's the same entity it's the same energy right you have a lot of conflict you can't seem to cut this loose even though you manifested and it manifested it into your life you can't seem to cut it loose hold up Hold up. Hold up. I stand corrected. Er, back up. Screeching halt. This is what's going on. You didn't manifest this into your life. What you did was manifest yourself into the empress. That's what you did. That's what you did. You manifested yourself into the Empress, an independent creator, abundance in your own life, your own. You, you are the Empress. You manifested yourself into the Empress. When you walked away from this King of Cups for whatever this was back here, and you cut your ties, you manifested yourself into this Empress, and that was your justice, Sagittarius. That was your justice. Wow. All right. I'm sorry I missed that the first time around, but that's what's going on right there, right? And you may you may have manifested this back. You may not have ever really cut off ties when you walked away up there, right? 
And, um, I mean, I can't imagine if you cut ties off that this King of Cups would be showing up saying, Hey, baby, let's have the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, the, and, and talk about it, plan it out to the Two of Cups, to the Queen of Pentacles, to the lovers, right? I mean, people just don't show up that you're not talking to and do that. And if they do, you better check yourself because it's not normal. <laughs> so anyway... You, you you could have very well manifested this into your life and now you're second guessing yourself. And for others of you, you have manifested yourself into the Empress and that is your justice for this situation. <coughs> so you have a lot of conflict, right? Lots of conflict. And, and you remember the disappointment and the despair and the abandonment that you felt when all of that happened back there. And you're like, you know what? Nope, not going to do it. And you're leaving here just like you left there. You're not having any of it. I mean, look, this guy is literally walking away from eight golden cups, right? He's just like, it's not even worth it. You have them, keep them. I'm out. I'm done. I'm gone. He's not even mad, right? He didn't even like kick the cups over. He just is like, Psst, I'm out, right? And that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing right here. This, my Sagittarius friends, leads to a brand new cycle being started in your life. A turning point in your destiny. Because you saw that this King of Cups right here Queen of Cups is n not worth the Empress, right? You decided to go along your own way. And this was a huge life lesson for you. It was a huge life lesson and it was a karmic test. This was a karmic relationship and this was a karmic test because the wheel says, the universe says, source says, now you may pass. Now you may pass. And the wheel's going to start turning for you. The wheel's going to start turning for you because you left somebody out in the cold. And you are your own wishes fulfilled, your own comfort and your own happiness because you are the empress and that is your justice, right? If you watch the last Sagittarius reading, it's very, very similar. It really is. So there must be some, this, this general overall energy just really going on with um, some of y'all out there. Now I want to leave this just I want to leave this disclaimer with you. Do not ever plan your life around a general tarot card reading. I don't care who's doing it. Few and far between will a general tarot card reading be specifically for one person. And if it hits you like that, that's awesome. But it needs to be pretty darn special, right? That's the beauty of a personal reading. If this was your reading, I could tailor this entire situation to you and probably pull a whole lot more t uh, clarifying cards, right? This is a general reading, so don't ever plan your life off of a general reading. This is the overall energy. I just said this on the Taurus video. I must have done 75 readings in the past month, right? And of those 75 readings, uh, there was always a hint of what the general reading was saying, right? That's why all over YouTube, the readings are kind of, sort of, along the same line, right? That's because that's the overall energy of what's going on with the sign. When it's a personal reading, these cards are specifically brought forth from spirit through the tarot to talk to you about what's going on in your life. So... Um, that's the difference. Okay. I just don't want y'all to, I don't want y'all to have false hope watching tarot card readings and planning your life and expecting things from general tarot card readings. If you really, really want to know, spend the money and go to your favorite tarot card reader and get a personal tarot card reading. If you really need to make big decisions or plan your life. Okay. All right. That's my spiel about that. I hope y'all enjoyed the reading. Namaste.